Hello, I'm Xiaoling and welcome back to Particular Pickles. So you guys are probably wondering what this is not a review slash impressions video. This is something different. And yes, it is. It's going to be the first episode of a full walkthrough on the channel of Headlander. Now, I know for those of you who have been following the channel for any amount of time know that primarily I've been doing review type of content with the majority of my videos with the exception of my earlier siege videos where I made sort of guides on how to play the game and stuff which I hopefully will get back to at some point but I always wanted to have some kind of let's play series on the channel and I think that having played Headland a little bit I think it's a game that you know I wouldn't mind starting with on the channel as the first played through experience from beginning to end. But yeah, so anyway, before I blabber on too much, let's get into the game. For those of you who are interested in having a look at the options menu, um, music, sound effects, voice, have sliders. You've got brightness sliders as well, resolutions and graphics. There are a bunch of different presets in the game. Uh, you have a number of different languages as well as subtitles, which I will put out for you guys. Uh, vibration, if you are playing, playing with a controller, full screen mode and uh, various anti-aliasing, I've got it on SSAA. Now, something I do want to point out is that the game is capped at 60 frames a second. The other thing that I noticed some of the reviews were complaining about with the game were the keyboard controls. Now, I only got the game a few days after release, so um, I see that they have noted some fixes for the keyboard controls in the patch notes. So, yeah, I haven't actually had any kinds of problems with the game in the time that I've played it. Right, save game. Okay, so when you start the game, you can choose three characters. They're all... Uh, identical except for the way they look so you can choose what your head's going to look like you can choose a asian looking female an old guy or a young guy let's go with the young guy shall we so when there is dialogue in these cutscenes i'm going to shut my face so you guys can see it Indeed to move. The controls are relatively simple. There isn't a jump, at least not in the time that I've played the game so far, but you can roll with space, but uh, it seems that they're locking out us out of that at the moment uh, for the duration of this tutorial. I ain't much sure why, but Methuselah wants a hold of you. We gotta get y'all off this ship. Don't worry, I'll talk you through. Name's Earl, by Well, hello, Earl. It's a dead people. you to launch head okay so one of the big mechanics in the game hence head launcher is um head lander sorry is when you press q you can detach your head okay so you can see when you have this head you can just fly it around like you would a little spaceship it's got a little bit of drift on it which i think is pretty cool um pretty intuitive is there anything to explore down here the secrets all over this place. You can sort of pick up the energy, although I don't think there's going to be any of it yet. This is still the tutorial. Um, okay, so you can see that as we get uh, to a body, we can get onto the body. I am Rod, autonomous. 
access door AI. Red security clearance required for entry. Hmm, that uniform is really more of a dusty rose. Just shoot the door. Your red laser will do the trick. Fine, red access confirmed. Why do I even bother being thorough? Right. I do quite like this funny carpet looking thing. The way it sinks into the ground. That was pretty cool. Red clearance. Congratulations. The aberration has escaped. Shepherds investigate. Uh oh. All Methuselah's on to us. We best hurry. Okay, so they've introduced the gun now. You can see when you hold the right button, you can kind of aim. Um, and then you can shoot. So you can bounce shots off, for example. You know, you can open doors this way. You can launch your head and go through. Let's grab ourselves another head. Okay, there's a guy down here. He doesn't see us. We could bounce this off. You can always tell when you're going to hit someone. The, bar, the beam gets uh, highlighted, as you can see, when I go off the guy. I want to go on the guy here. Actually, sort him out. Oh. Those robotic bodies can't repair themselves, so keep an eye on your damage level. Which way should we go? The map hasn't been unlocked yet. Let's go this way. Security lasers are blocking the way to the escape pod. Y'all need to get to the bridge and shut them off. Watch out. Those shepherds got their heads. They ain't gonna be happy to see y'all. Right. So maybe we can uh, fly off this guy, jump on this guy, and shoot this guy. Right. Did I... Oh, how the corpse fell off the, uh... Red access confirmed. Launch here, let's go in the hole. I think the graphics are pretty good, though. Um... Looks like them blast doors are stuck half open. Y'all gonna have to go under. Okay, so now we get the roll. Don't want to touch that. A bridge, we need to go this way. Tube way access. This should stimulate your synaptic connections. Looks like that jolt brought your vacuum drive online. Y'all could use it to yank off things like heads and tubeway hatches. Right, so now we can actually pull um, people's heads off. We can pick up objects with our helmet as well. So you see, we can carry this thing around, but we don't actually need it. And we can just go in here. We can suck off this guy's now. head. Here we go. It's the head from hell. Okay, let's see. Aberration detected. Shepherds converge. There's a guy down there as well. Um, oh, there's a guy up here as well. We got this jump of him. Let's get up his body. There's a lot of fire going on here. Get another body. Right. Okay, so we need to get to the escape pod. And to head through this way. We've got full health, you can see that in the top left hand corner. Ship's laser system's active, so we need to disable it from here. I 
Okay, let's disable that. that. Now go on and head back to the escape pod. We can also actually, anything with this sort of glowing beam over here, we can actually hop onto that. Now we can control this little thing. Uh, looks like we're going to need... Oh, okay, that's going to be some trouble in the next room. Let's change this guy first. Anybody else? Okay, let's go up here. There's a lift. Take that off. Activate the water lift. Up there as well. Oh crap. Let's see if we can try and get him from here. That should be it. No? Still alive? Okay, there we go. Now he's dead. That door's broken. Did another guy spawn? I'm sure I killed that guy. Okay, we've been in here. Okay, let's just go back. This just comes back to where we came from. Let's see. Now there was a small access point over here, so what we can do? Go away. I don't open for little flying heads. He doesn't open for little flying heads, so we actually need a red suit to get through these doors. Let's see. Can we just switch over to this thing? So this thing can actually drop dust, so you can stun enemies. Can't remember if there was anything worthwhile collecting here. Indeed. It's gonna shoot at us? Whoa. Okay, let's get off, get off. Okay, there's the escape pods. Okay, it's um gonna be invited to press one of these, I think I did. No? Okay, pod one's ready. We didn't actually have to go there, we can just uh, go into the pod from here. Sounds ominous. Still intact? We 
gotta get y'all off of this space station before the shepherds get a hold of you. What I think we'll do though is we'll wrap it up there. I hope you guys have enjoyed the first episode. I know that I wasn't talking a great deal. There were a fair amount of cutscenes. But what I'll do is I'll upload the next episode tomorrow. And hope to see some of you there. If you guys have any feedback or any comments like that. Please do leave them in the comment section below. I would really appreciate it. Otherwise guys thanks very much for watching. And I will see you tomorrow. Thank you.